Bro. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nia Shadi here, and welcome to Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. You boys with the Trinity games today, you already know we we hot and heavy. Alright, if you seen the amnesia if you haven't not seen the amnesia video, go ahead. I want y'all to watch that video, you know, get the likes up, share them out. Today we're playing Little Hope. Now I haven't played the Man of Madon, but if y'all want me to play that, I will. Little Hope. They just drop you straight into the game like that? Roadside Diner, 9.42 p.m. present day. Why is he reading that, bro? Whoa. Y'all heard that anonymous music, bro? Do y'all hear that? Whoa. All right, anyway. I guess this game deals with the witch trials and stuff in the game. And, um. Yeah, it deals with witch trials and stuff. I feel like something finna pop out. Bro, that scared me. Uh, he looked like he needs some help. My boy got a mullet too. Come on now. <laughs> I'm playing y'all. Alright, I love mullets. <laughs> Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Okay. Right. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Fine. Whoa. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the east road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Bro. That's all. There's no time to your journey. My question is, all I seen was like three people. Where did they go? Bro, what? He looks so deranged, bro. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long? Like, come on now. He's shy of three months. Impressive. No. I no. The days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something. He smokes cigarettes. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. It's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John. Could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Ooh! See, this is why bearing updated. A girl stood in the road to cause, cause the bus driver the, the, A girl stood in the road caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. See, this is why y'all little kids shouldn't be yelling on the bus. Y'all be distracting the driver. That's gonna happen to y'all. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. 
You're drunk. Who what is she talking to? I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory. You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks That's okay a fact. Carson held her back after prayers today. It's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're going to get that backhand. You better stop. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real no. Problem. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the only me. one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. What well, dang? <laughs> not tonight. No way. Why the little girl look like that though? Andrew Kirk Flaming Homes, Massachusetts. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Bro, give her a break, bro. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. Bro, you probably smoke pot in the back of your bro. Come on now. He's a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic, legendary vinyl. <laughs> Quit pawing at it, will you? Ugh. She look like a zombie getting up. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will you? Bro, relax. Hey, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Cause she's like eight. <laughs> Damn ice. Oh, that's her boyfriend. How's things? Hey, we got a brother as the boyfriend, though. You know she can. <laughs> Facts. About this time. Uh. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. <laughs> really? It's crawled up his ass. Dennis being a Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. <laughs> I'm not trying to be annoyed or anything. Hey, Dennis. Hey. Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> Bro, she got demons. This little girl with some paranormal activity, bro. Stop it! Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Check up on your daughter. Don't rely on your man for everything. Well. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's 
not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. Bad? No, she got something bad around her. Why everyone keeps picking on her? Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her. If you don't have other plans, I'll go find her. Thank you, Tanya. Tanya. Yeah, I'm eating Swedish fish. Shout out to Curry Kitchen. All right, let me get the match. <laughs> yes, sir. I would date Andrew. No cap. Andrew, I want you to be mine. <laughs> yeah. Press X in the t uh, time of the heartbeat. Button may change the triangle. Th oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Woo! The boy's so clean with it. Break the spleen with it. Freaking Neo Shadows now, you finna finish! You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Why aren't you doing it? No. Can't imagine why. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You wanna try raising a family like this? Yeah, and I bet I could do better. The devil himself struggle with you guys. That's crazy. Some dad you are. Some dad you are. That's crazy. Yeah, I would date that Andrew. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know, I haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Facts. <laughs> I'm on it. What? Do I don't care. What do you got to say? Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah, enjoy your hangover. No, he's drunk, bro. Because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. Yeah, drinking oh, tea and bears would do that to you. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Why are you telling me this like I'm a dad, bro? Like, this is your kid, too. I mean, this is your kid. I'm not taking responsibility. Shroud and shroud of innocence, bro. What? Andrew got some big hands. I don't want to hold those. What's this? Golly! How many times she been absent? Whoa, she has 18 targets. My school would have tore me up with that. Oh, snap. F. F. How are you going to F it? How are you going to F in PE? That's crazy. Anthony, where are you? God damn it. Anthony, I'm getting what? really pissed off. Tanya, why are you tripping? Anthony, I swear you don't Whoa. I swear she a demon, bro. I think so too. Tanya. Whoa, bro. Rat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Wow. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. 
The house is on fire, bro. How? What? It's a wet tile. Oh. Uh, Megan, are you in there? Bro, where's the dad at? Where's the mom? Oh, she got locked in the bathroom. The Oh, oh my gosh. Is she finna suffocate in there? Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! I would have jumped out of the attic, bro, and like broke a window or something. Anthony! Why are you climbing up there? That's what I'm I saying. Get to the balcony. Anthony, help. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, he on that hangover in this, bro. He not gonna be waking up. Oh my gosh. He can barely walk. He can barely get up. Look at her, bro. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Nah, she literally just watched him die, bro. Oh, there she go. Wow, she died. Forget Megan, bro. Get Tanya. Get Tanya. Skip you. Burn with the devil. Uh They're both assertive Use the window. Try the window. Hurry. All right, I need you to put a scarf over your mouth or something. Oh my gosh. Um oh my god. Oh snap. Oh, she roasted alive. Tanya? Tanya, say something. I finna start crying. No. Oh. No. And he think he did it. Wow. How did everybody die? Intro, that took like 30 minutes. <laughs> Hello, curator. I don't believe that we've met. This is my first time meeting you. I never played a man of Madame before. What's up? What's good with you? I'm the curator. Hi. I'm Neon. Wonderful stories. 
and I have a very special tale for you to tell. Bet. He's kind of thick with it. <laughs> Whoa. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Mm. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Okay, bet. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. Okay, I'm what glad he told me that. Happened? Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. Facts. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much yeah how many more deaths is entirely up to you it depends on the decisions that you make what are you rational emotional do you trust your head or your heart there is no right answer sometimes one is best and sometimes the other my advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But he scares me. I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. That's crazy. You just want to write your book cover and sell it for about like ten dollars. Okay. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate so you're saying you can't oh, cheat one final thing before I let you go there are pictures in little hope that will if found show you a vision of a possible future something that may or may not happen use them they might help you okay but you have a funeral to attend off you go. Have fun. How does he know that? Everybody died. Like, they just died. I feel like Tanyo's finna die either way. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But Wait, I think the bus driver... The family are together. For eternity. In God's loving embrace. Wait. Wait, what? I'm confused. Did the bus driver have this flashback or did... What? Because we only have one main character. So far... Oh my gosh. So I guess the bus driver must have had trauma from this. That's what made him swerve, right? I don't know. I'm just speculating. Oh, he had the dream. Andrew, 18, college student. Anxious, detached. I hit my head hard. Taylor, 22, college student. Headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell There's so many words throwing at me. I don't know. 
so people tell me about this like little like you know like lock system so basically um i have to like be become the opposite but i don't know what deceitful means to be honest <laughs> um i'm sensitive flirtatious hopeful and deceitful and then i see a little bit of witty in there Angela, John, Andrew, and Daniel. Of oh, they're recreations. How, how's, he how's he doing, he doing? bro? Doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <laughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Consider it. Like he got mad at me, like hey, for hey, what? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. Oh, the bus driver got snatched. <laughs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. I think I'll be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Whoa, we got two more. Daniel, 20, college student. Amiable, defensive. Where's my phone? I don't know what some of these words mean. I don't know what amiable means. Who is that? <sighs> Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. You 48 and still in college? Anyone up there? You know she's been partying. Hey. Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? Why is he I'm being okay. like that? Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. Nope, no sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> what? Hey, Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who, who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <laughs> he got a concussion? A field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. Uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Ooh. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. Facts. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was. I thought the bus driver had to dream. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. I'm not gonna say anything. Why can't we stay here? No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the bus driver though? You're wrong. We stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? Whoa. Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Mm, we don't know where he is. He right though. You're right. 
Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right. The quicker we get help, the quicker we can. Taylor agreed with John's plan to head into town. I feel like this is going to help us later on. Woo! John messed with me. But he didn't have to yell at me, though. I feel like he's. I feel like John is like really hot headed. So like I'm just like he's taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Hey, Daniel, you guys. I'm gonna just be reassuring because he's a real hot head. I can see him. This trail is the pit. Hotness. But we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. Girl, I don't care about your clothes. Your clothes are ruined. Really? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Hey. What's happening here? Not much. So she ain't mess with I would slap her. Daniel! Don't mess with me. Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. We staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. See ya. Why is she hating on me, bro? I ain't do nothing to this old lady. Whoa! A girl appeared to be watching Taylor and the others. Who is this little girl? Welcome to Abandoned Hope. Well, you know this place, Little Hope. No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. <laughs> I'm not finna be dismissive. How do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. All right, I'm just trying to relax with you, bro. Einstein, I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. See, he wants to try me, bro. Hey! Good to see you too. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. I bet you were. Listen here, you old hag. Stop playing with me. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? I guess. I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. Oh. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. Hey. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. No, it don't. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we just leave, bro? Without having a smart ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. And I'm starting to I'm like you not study. being in my business. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did you say about me? Oh. You know, your boyfriend to stick up for you? Oh, Tia! Listen here. I'm tired of you. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? Yo! She hates me for Skip her! The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. That's a fact, though. What do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. 
I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. Okay, right. Ta the Taylor and and Angela, bro, they're hotheads, especially John, bro. He acted like somebody's dad. Oh. Back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. Stop. You know said, that you've lost it. It's not possible. I don't know what you're trying you to do. You thought? But we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. Whoa, this is trippy, bro. Relax, Taylor. She's right. We walk dead straight going away from you. So how'd we end up back here? You know how you know how trippy that is? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You wanna put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, shut your mouth. So I feel like this fog is trying to push him back towards the forest. I mean the the town. Yep, I'm ready. They're trying to push him back into the town. Okay, so it's like it, I forgot what that movie called. Like they like get him trapped into a town. Whoa, do you hear that? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. There's a second voice. Died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That do you hear this? I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. Stop yelling at me! You can't understand this, don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? You either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. right now. The fog appears to be in charge. Anyone Stop yelling at me. Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could please. Me. Stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. They got heat real fast. Who thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. He needs to smoke a cigarette. Isn't real. We have to get out of here. Right. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. It's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. <laughs> we have to work together as a team. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't funny. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. He is hot-headed. There will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Ooh. I think that's possible. I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Ooh, okay, it's just a cat. I don't look at that place at all. 
maybe they won't ask for ID. Why is the camera like that? Hello? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. Facts. Are we really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you. Angela is on to us. Okay, and what you gonna do? Go snitch? What did you two talk about? Facts. She's digging around like she always does. <laughs> Let her. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> What's she gonna do to me? Go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. Ooh. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Okay. She feeling him. <laughs> Woo! Where's the black guy? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Why? What's so funny? My bus driver got snatched up. What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I am. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. The old man introduced himself to the group of Vince. You're not covered in 20 years. And Sounds Vince. like you could use a drink. No, I'm um, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Um Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Authority figure. John refused the offer of a drink in the bar from Vince. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Yeah, hey, what happened here? Like, it's... This is dirty. This place seems completely deserted. Little Hope sure is a whole like a ghost town. And that fog... It's ridiculous. But we don't all go with it. Look, I'm not trying to play 20 questions with you. I just need a phone, bro. Is there a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. Okay, she's she getting it over here. Town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> and he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. Must be something here that can help. Why are you staring at me like that? See what you can dig up. Uh, yeah, he looked like he's in a world of his own. Yeah. An old he smoked and drunk one one too many. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. 
I'm gonna take a look around. Just a quick throw. <laughs> they fight over here. Try for a big double. Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. He is dismissive. Okay, so you can play. Cause I <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> he sound like he sound like a weed, <laughs> a weed Nazi. <laughs> nice shot. Hey, I finna like talk to you some more. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you, fam. Talk to me. You're not gonna talk to me? There it is. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, Boo's gone in my head. Nah, I'm not gonna be aggressive okay? to him. I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Nah, I'm not finna say anything. Little hope is all but gone now. Only thing here now is ghosts from the past. Uh, okay. A little scared, but I'm, I'm gonna let that slide. Compassionate. What's a phone? It doesn't work. Are you serious? Fuck. Excuse me, Andrew. They they arguing up a storm over there. Are you sure about that? Ooh, June 6, 1917. These guys could be relatives. Oh, snap. That's them. What is going on? Hey, what? Are there different timelines or something? You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Is that a church bell? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside. Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking Wait, for. Wait, why wouldn't I just stay here? There's there's another human being here. Why are we leave oh he's leaving too. Wow. Wait, why are they leaving? He don't have a flip phone or Nokia or something? It's weird that old guy. There was something off about him. No, we weird. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Wow. <laughs> what is this? What's the freak? Whoa! What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. That we all finna die. Some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. Andrew, don't go touching it, bro. I've heard more than enough. Thank you. Whoa! Did y'all see that? I'm sorry. I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. Wait. I don't know. I'm not superstitious, but 
stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Imagine me being assertive about it, bro. <gasps> Stop! Bro, I jerked back so hard. I just saw someone in the woods. A little girl. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Facts. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. I'm not going to become frustrated. Let's just leave. We really should catch up with the others. <gasps> you too. Uh we need to stick close. I thought that was a mo Whoa! What the hell? Oh, now you don't believe me? You believe me now, right? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Dad, Bro, leave. Are? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. I do not like this. No. No! What is that? Why did everything just turn gray? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. I'm scared. My eyes are watering. I will go pick it up. Ugh. Bro. <gasps> 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 What is your name, what? sir? <laughs> I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. Mary. Mary introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? Whoa. I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Wait, wait. Amy, Amy, come back here. Amy. There's someone else out here by the fire. I, I, I don't see any fire. Wait. Oh my gosh. I saw him too. Are you okay? This place is wrong, bro. This, this is, is weird. Wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? A little girl up this here. Little girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Jump scare and everything. The fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Fact. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary. Whoa. Did she want to hurt you? Anxious, consider. No, she just asked no. me what my name was. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Ooh. Andrew thought that the girl he and Angela met meant no harm. Now what? Seems this is speeding up real quick. You're kidding me. Fearful. Not. This one thing I'm not trying to be.
What? Yo! Yo! Well, that escalated rather quickly. He really did. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Yes, sir. Don't look at me. I can't help you. I didn't ask for your help. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. These riddles he throwing at me, bro. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> I ain't no snitching on my man. And tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing. He was joke. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Find a bus driver. He got snatched up. I don't know where he is. <laughs> right, y'all. I'm gonna leave it right here. What? Yo. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, a little help, and if y'all want part two, I know what to do. I think take me a quick nap. I'm scared. And I'm turning on the lights in my house. I catch y'all for part two.